This is the title page of a book of nature prints. It's an ornamental border, and you can see the plate mark when it was pressed on the damp paper. And that plate that was engraved was the matrix. The matrix leaves the impression. Here we have an example of a nature print which is a print in relief where the plant material is the printing matrix. And the botanist would be in charge of collecting the plants at the optimum time, preparing them, which would involve pressing them between paper, underweight maybe between the pages of heavy books, taking them out, putting them onto a smooth surface, such as a piece of marble, brushing it with a very dilute solution of gummed water, which would be a binder added to pigment, create the ink. So you would be pressing with a soft camel hair brush and coaxing the plant material to lay flat on the smooth surface. And from there, you would be able to ink up the leaf and then you would press it on the moist paper, on the printed ornamental border. You can see every detail of the leaf, which was the desired outcome. These were meant to study. Over time, plants can dry out, parts can break off. By making nature prints, it was a way of preserving the details of the plants. And they are so lifelike that if you look very closely, you can see the relief of the print as if it's the actual leaf sitting on the surface of the paper.